All right, here we go. We can finally go inside. It's kind of funny. Uh, right at the beginning, it's like if you if you do this to the skull, you can finally go inside and see what the base is all like. But then by the time I actually start doing that stuff, I get so invested in all of those different objectives, uh, I totally forget about. Oh yeah, I guess we're trying to earn our way inside here, huh? I got distracted by this all the different side objectives that I'm planning on doing next. Before you you before you rise a pair of massive 25-foot bronze doors, now green with age and corrosion, and engraved with ancient and barely legible writings, they look like they've been standing since the beginning of time. And we're in. And the doors closed behind us apparently, which is creepy looking. Let's pan back a little bit just for a better view. Team Echo, isn't it? Nice to put a face to a name. I'm Captain Hunter, Team Delta. Your team doesn't look like the other teams we've met. That's because we're different from the other teams you've met. Special Ops. Aren't all Rangers Operation special? What makes yours different? Well, let's just say we're the Ranger Team Vargas calls when other Ranger teams get out of line. Goodbye. Be seeing you, chum. I'm surprised we didn't elaborate on that at all. We're just like, it's like, oh, you're you're the guy that gets called out when everyone else gets out of line. Bye. Never talking to you again. <laughs> just immediately just saying goodbye. That's it. That's our whole conversation. Do we have a map of the area? Looks like we have to discover our surroundings along the way. Let's see who we have. Dismiss companions. You can remove an unneeded or troublesome uh, CNPC from your squad by using the dismiss option on the inventory screen. A dismissed CNPC will leave the area and return to your ranger headquarters. Dismissed CNPCs will wait for you there until you return and recruit them again. Just speak with them. You can only bring a maximum of seven squad members with you at a time. Alright, so, so seven. So we can have three bonus characters on top of our four main crew members. I'm curious what happens when someone dies permanently from my main crew. Do we remake a fourth character from scratch, or does, or is it just like, nope, you just bring four people that aren't that are CNPCs along? Both are possible, I guess. Yeah, seems like it was just yesterday. Ancient and balding, with this ranger fatigue, with, with his ranger fatigues hanging badly on his skinny frame, he wears his long gray hair pulled back in a tiny ponytail, and his. Bifocals t uh, teeter on the tip of his nose. Corporal Flintlock Eggleston. What a choice to have to make. Wish you'd saved Ag Center instead. Nothing I like better than the their rutabagas. Now I guess they're gone for good. Now, what can old Flintlock do for you today? Did you call us children? Heh! <laughs> Everyone's a kid to me. I'm older than dirt. And you, you're just back from your first patrol, aren't you? Well then, guess I can call you what I want. How'd you get the name Flintlock? The fellow's old joke that I've been around so long that the standard issue for a ranger back in the day was a Flintlock and a coonskin camp. Well, uh, they ain't that far wrong. I got boots older than General Vargas' daddy. Is there anything we can help you with? Well, as a matter of fact, I could use your help. The museum is always looking for interesting relics and artifacts from the past to add to our collection. Recovering that kind of stuff is the best thing for the crazies who lived here before. Before, uh, recovering that kind of stuff was the best thing the crazies who lived here before, uh, before ever did. Trouble was, all they wanted was to hide it away. We want to show it to people, and let them, uh. Cogulate on- Cogulate on it? Uh... Maybe might figure out what some of it does. So listen, if you ever come back with anything interesting while you're on patrol, bring it on back and I'll trade you for what, we, what you found. And I won't give you no junk, neither. I'll set you up with something good. We found this amazing leg lamp, what do you think? Oh wow. It's indescribably beautiful. I'll happily add that to our collection. Can I have it? Definitely. It deserves a place of honor. So we lost the leg outline item. Are we getting something in return? Pop up? 
We received a Red Rider BB gun. All right. Thank you, Rangers. You certainly got an eye for... Ooh, we got more ammo for it, too. Oh, BB ammo, though. You certainly got an eye for the archaeologically interesting and fashionable. In fact, I think you deserve a little something extra for this find. How about I let you take the Red Rider rifle out on loan? I've got a handful of BBs. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find more. Just try to keep it clean and make sure to point it away from your face. We found Ace's Ranger Star. It deserves a spot in the museum. That's damn sad. But we're truly fortunate you found it, children. I'll add it to the collection. It'll help remind us of the sacrifices Desert Rangers sometimes have to make to keep the Wasteland safe. Thank you, Rangers. A lot of experience across the board for everyone, huh? What do you think of General Vargas? He's a good kid. He's a good kid, Vargas. Helped us save the world from Finster and base Cochise's robo ro uh, robot attack. A ro robot army. Back in the bad old days, he'd been keeping us safe and stronger ever since. Love him like my own son. Who was Finster? Didn't you see the, his head in the museum? Crazy scientist type. Wanted to kill everyone or replace him with mutants. Started making plaques to wipe... Uh, plagues to wipe us all out. Thank God Vargas and Angie and Thrasher and Hellraiser put him down like the mad dog he was. What was based Cochise? Back before the apocalypse, it was a military facility just like this one. Only Cochise was a robot researcher. A research center. Then, somehow, about 15 years back, its mainframe had some kind of glitch and it started thinking that humans were the enemy. Can you believe it? The damn thing started pooping out killer robots and sending them to kill all and sundry. Well, the rangers had to put a stop to that, didn't they? And so we did. Blew the damn place to kingdom come. Ain't been a robot since. Thanks for the info, Flitlock. Adios, children. Thanks for stopping by. What's this one? Small piece of plastic colored blue, orange, and or white. There are raised letters and numbers embossed on it. Most of the numbers have rubbed off, but you can make out the letters H. Crusher, Crusher Esquire. The clean, uh, the clean sever at the bottom of those wires makes you think that the head was removed after the robot had been shut down. It also makes you wonder if the electronics inside might be undamaged. Scratched into the science fictional eyepiece is the word Proteus. There's a lot around here, huh? You also spot the actual useful Fix It by Guy MacGyver, hidden on the bottom shelf. Oh, it says the case is filled with old timey books, many of which show signs of considerable use. Some of the most bookmarked are Wretch Like Me by Stephen Hino, The Unabridged Elf Manual by Collins McBush, and uh, Macariah Carrion, Collins McBrush, uh, I mean, sorry, Macariah Carrion, uh, Succubus Queen of Hell by Tom Brains, or Brames. There's a lot to look through around here. Well, that thing looks noteworthy. Let's look at that one. Oh, Admire. Bam, we got Inspired. The statue shows the back of a head with three tentacles inside the body, each gripping a stiletto knife. The opposite side of the head shows the same. A plaque at the base says, A Ranger, in the year of Who the Fuck Cares? Eric Tideman. Alright. Well, we got another point from that. It's a good thing I paid attention to that bit. This thing looks like it uh, can't interact with it. I know it's a phone booth and not a police box, but it just looks like something that if I interacted with it, it was gonna, like, somehow throw a reference of Doctor Who at me or something. I've heard that, like, in the old Fallout game, there was, like, a rare chance you could walk into a certain area and, like, a TARDIS would just show up in the distance and it would disappear before you could touch it. The gun is so big and bulky it had to be mounted on tank, th on tank treads. Looks like it could pack a wallop. A small placard on the ground reads, Mess and Cannon. While well, the cannon has been dead for years, its parts seem to be in working order. Someone with knowledge of machines or how to repair them might be able to get this little a little power flowing. Do I give it a shot? Let's maybe quick save before I break the cannon in the middle of town. Could be pretty cool if I fixed it. Critical failure. You find nothing in this, but 
Whatever those words mean. Oh no, I've ruined everything. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and quick load that. I don't I don't I'll come back when I have more mechanical skill, perhaps. I don't know if I want to just ca cause permanent damage in the middle of the uh, museum. And we're back. I realize I, I could just kind of brute force it by just trying over and over again and abusing the saves and stuff, but I figure that, that success chance is so low, I might as well just come back when I have a higher skill and feel more like I earned it. This thing is broken beyond all repair. A computer of some kind, gently illuminating the area with dim light. No computer skill here. I mean, they did tell me it was beyond repair. What's this painting look like? The Unnatural History. It does look like the gimmicky history banner of an actual history museum where they sort of show a bunch of historical-ish things and mash them all together in a silly way. Somehow the Rangers have managed to keep an intact M388 Davy Crockett tactical nuke in perfect shape for the last 150 years. Every part? Wire and actuator looks to be in working order. Huh. You think the warhead's live too? What? Why would I want to- it seems like a bad idea to just start touching it. I find it hilarious that that's an option though. There's also a, an actual- there's a toaster around here too. This toaster's in need of repairs. What a coincidence. Am I- oh! Success rate is zero. I'm gonna have to come back as a high level toaster. It makes sense that stuff around here would be meant for high-level characters, because it's, you always have access to, access to it forever. Sergeant Gilbert Thrasher Sagara said, Never cared much for Highpool, but saving them and cre uh, helping Kate Peterson was a wise choice. They've been in danger of joining the Red Scorpions for a while now. You've ended that threat. At a big table covering with, covered with books and maps sits a large bearded man in pajamas, bathrobe and slippers, he has a mug of coffee at his elbow, and he's using a jeweler's loop to examine the maps. Dr. Gilbert Thrasher Sagara said, If that was Blythe, this must have been... Parker? Which makes this... There's no getting around it. Despite the bathrobe and slippers and the high-pitched, uh, the high-tech artificial leg, this guy is intimidating. Fat, yes, but there's a lot of muscle under all that padding. And he's six. Uh, he's six if he's an inch. Also, his uh, fists are the size of canned hams. Yeah, I know. You're the new recruits, heroes of high pool, etc. Well, I don't go. I didn't. I don't do the tour. Flintlock does the tour. I do the maps. So unless you've got questions about maps, talk to him. Thanks. Uh, where'd you get that cool artificial leg? If you ask about it again, I'll tear it off and beat you with it. Friendly, alright. That helps with the intimidating part, I guess. Uh, it just, it, it just says ask. <laughs> it seems like a bad plan. How do you feel about Vargas? That's General Vargas to you. A wild man back when we patrolled together. Now he's too cautious for his own good. Or the Rangers. There's a tour? Every time Vargas brings new recruits to the Citadel, they always want us to show them around the museum. Well, I don't have time for it. You never pay any attention anyway. Do you and Flintlock get along? His incessant chatter can be wearing, but I'm glad he's here. He acts as a shield for idiots who would otherwise bother me. Oh, is he taking the hints here? <laughs> What's so interesting about maps? Keep, keeping accurate maps is an important part of a ranger's job. Knowing locations and distances to towns, oases, and resources keeps our communities alive. We also need to put new places on the map and where to find them. Catalog who lives there, and if they're a threat. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be getting back to it. What do you mean, too cautious? We lost a lot of men in this place. And I understand him wanting to regroup and rebuild, but it's been 15 years. While we've been sitting here guarding our little patch, the weeds have been growing around our borders, and every year we let them go. You're going to be, they're going to be harder to cut back when the time comes. So you're you're proud to be a ranger? 
If the Rangers didn't exist, I would have joined some scavenger gang and been dead before I was 30. I may have lost a leg in my service here, but I've found my mind. I call that a bargain, the best I've ever had. Oasis are important. There aren't many places to find drinkable water out in the desert, so we try to keep the maps current and about which are pure and which have run dry. And no, I'm not giving you a map. Part of becoming a ranger is finding water for yourself. We had to do it in my day, you'll do it in yours. So we should keep an eye out for new places. We're always looking to expand our knowledge of the world. Write down all the places you visit on your travels. And when you come back to base, I'll reward you for any place we don't already have on our maps. The more the better. What are our borders? Look at this map. This is Ranger Citadel. Our territory stretches from Rail Nomads here in the north to Ag Center of the south and High Pool to the east. That's it. Everything outside the triangle has become Terra Incognita. Our influence is shrinking when it should be expanding. That's a good pant. That's a good point. That's not really much of a territory at all. I've already been to most of that area and somewhat, maybe even somewhat beyond it a little bit. Tell me about the Royal Nomads. That's important. We haven't even been there yet. A little town built out of ra rail cars, always fighting among themselves, but they don't generally bother anyone else. Bit of a drug problem, though. I wish they would end their conflict. Every time one of them gets the upper hand, I have to change my maps. What do you know about Ag Center? Well, it was a research facility that tried to figure out ways to grow more and better, grow more and better crops in the wasteland. Now it's gone, thanks to you, and we'll probably all starve. Hey, there's a whole organization here. Why am I the only per our options were the thing that provides us with food and the thing that provides us with water. It still seems silly to me that I'm the only person that could do anything about it. You know about High Pool? A reservoir and water treatment plant. Places like a fortress. Which is no surprise considering how valuable water is. We get our water from them in exchange for patrolling up there. Good thing you saved it. Yeah, that's right. It is a good thing. Be a little thankful. Weeds? Raiders. Militias, mutant animals, mad scientists, cults. We keep our own backyard clean, but beyond it, the wasteland is worse than it ever was. And there are places out there that haven't even been up that haven't been updated on my map since we got there. Uh huh. Back to work. These maps aren't gonna draw themselves. I gotta find out. We got a quick save. I've just got to test what happens if I ask about the leg. If you haven't got new map data for me, don't talk to me. Thanks. Oh, he doesn't want to talk. Well, I mean, I already knew that, but he does, But I can't talk to him about the leg now. Let's be on these doors. This looks newish. Oh, it's the clinic area. The man must be the ranger's doctor, judging by the tools he's carrying around. He walks around the room tending to his patients, but frequently stops to catch his breath. You can see tattoos running along his neck and arms, though you can only catch a glimpse of the letter when he, uh, of the ladder when he reaches up to cover his mouth during a coughing fit. Oh? Oh. New... <gasps> recruits! Hurt? Need supplies? Or just snooping? Uh, you're, you're taking pills, Doc? What's it to you? can a sick man take... <coughs> pills? What's wrong with you? Anything we can do to help? Not unless you've got a cure for... <gasps> lung cancer, do you? <coughs> God damn it. Before the apocalypse, I could have had chemo <coughs> therapy. Lacked laterite? What's it say? Healing crystals? Now all I can do is take the pain pills and wait for the end. I'm I'm already bored with doing the sound effects. <laughs> and the fucking pills aren't even working anymore. What if we found a cure? <laughs> what a comedian. There's no cure. Not for a hundred and fifty goddamn years. 
Not unless you believe those crackpots that say that Finster found one before he died. Who was Finster? Mad scientist lived in a place called Darwin's Village. Was working on modifying humans for hostile environments. But there are rumors that he invented a lot of diseases and cures too. Bullshit, of course. And even if it wasn't, Darwin Village doesn't exist anymore. Where was Darwin's Village? I'm smelling a quest! North of here, somewhere. Ask Zajara, he would, but it's gone. The rangers leveled it. Then radiation ate it. Nothing left. So we gotta ask Cigar about it, but he probably doesn't want to tell us about it, because he doesn't want to tell us about anything. Uh, what's Cigar, Sergeant Cigar like? Thrasher, our map guy, in the library. Keeps track of, of where things are and where they used to be. Will you take pain pills if we find them? Hell yes, anything and everything. I'll trade you double for anything you find. Uh, we're just looking around. Well, don't. Stay out till you're sick. No looky lose. Alright, well, we, we could use a stock up. Then have a look, but I ain't. It ain't free, gotta pay. So, what kind of stuff does he have? Plus one leadership trinket, interesting. Crafted with love and care, this taxidermy dog commemorates 12 years of. 12 years on four legs. Stuffed, he looks like a small, proud soldier closing his eyes. Looking slightly up. That's 180 for one leadership point. Maybe one day, I don't want to th jump into it right away, but yeah, these are definitely healing items. And he mo notably lacks pain pills very specifically. Hey, if I need to stock up, this is the place to go. I don't think I need to stock up, though. Just was kind of curious about what exactly his stock was. He's all like, why did I have to be born now? Can I ask this guy about the location? I can. Where's Dor where is Darwin's village? Darwin, not Darwin's. Darwin doesn't own it. Well, nobody does since the radiation overwhelmed it. It's abandoned. I'll mark, it, I'll mark the spot it used to be on your map. I mean, if it's just covered in radiation, it sounds like the, uh... Sounds to me like it's not necessarily wiped out. It's just not, sa not safe to be at. Enjoy the hike. Alright. Well, we, we, if we get the right radiation suit, then we could probably solve that whole situation. Good to know. This place looks like it's a pretty extensive exploration place. This ranger is equipped with a fierce looking weapon and impressive armor. It looks like security is taken very seriously around here. Move along, rangers. Those big mounted guns everywhere. I'm guessing that if I attack anything, I just get wiped out immediately. If I made the mistake of attacking people around here, which you know you shouldn't do. Though these massive vault like elevator doors have been polished to a military grade shine, you can see small amounts of warping and tiny scuffs. Likely the remnants of scorch marks. All around the edges. If you had to guess, the rangers have tried everything from arc wielding torches to C4 to open this behemoth with no success. So it sounds like it sounds like we've been here for 15 years without ever opening that Welcome successfully. Ranger Citadel recruits. Okay, that missed something there because they went too fast. A small dark room crammed with radio equipment with a desk and microphone in the center. As you enter, a man in a ranger uniform is repairing a piece of equipment in a component rack along the, the sidewall. General Vargas sits in the room, an old gray wolf in a dark cave, talking calmly into the mic. When he notices you, he takes off his headphones and turns to you. What a setup, Vulture Cry said. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel recruits. Ah, uh, yeah, it's good to be back. I'm trying to talk to him, there we go. A stiff bearded older man wearing a hard worn ranger uniform and a battered old cowboy hat. General Vargas walks with a cane, but he's not helpless. He wears a pearl handed revolver at his hip, and there are a lot of notches on the barrel. So you saved High Pool at the expense of Ag Center. A tough decision. 
and I know it must weigh heavily on your minds. But a choice had to be made, and once you chose Highpool, you did all you could to save it and its people. I'm particularly pleased that you helped Kate Preston become the new mayor over there. She's the kind of pragmatic, level-headed leader the old place needs. Also, let me personally thank you for finding Ace's killer, whatever it was. I'm sorry your initiation into the Rangers has been such a trial by fire, but you've proven yourself tough under pressure, and in my eyes, that makes you fit to be a Ranger. Welcome aboard. Now, any questions? We found a page from Ace's logbook, sir. Did you? Excellent work. Let me have a look. Hmm. Not much here, is there? Let me see. Felman with a snake squeezing cellar. Uh, okay. Getting that feeling of being followed. Damn. Tells a sad story, doesn't it? Guess what came out of the dark was that damn killer robot. Well, looks like your best lead is to find this snake squeezing salesman, whoever he is. Mentions Rail Nomad here, so have a look there, if you haven't already. Maybe this fella knows something more, like where the rest of the logbook is. Makes sense that we check that kind of place out next. Thank you for letting us into the Citadel, sir. It is your home now, recruits. A place to rest and resupply between missions. A place to learn and to share your knowledge with others. But it's more than that. Despite its tarnished history, the Citadel is a force for good. A shining beacon of justice in a dark land. A bulwark against barbarism in a world of lawlessness and brutality. Indeed, it is the furrowed field out of which the seeds of order will grow into a new and better civilization. Hey, forgive me. Get carried away sometimes. But I do believe we are making a difference despite my shortcomings. And that our flame must not be allowed to be snuffed out. That's why we need young, motivated recruits like yourselves. Shortcomings, sir? Surely not. I... I've been too cautious, recruits. Since we took this place over 15 years ago, I focused too much on keeping the peace in areas we know, and not enough on outside threats. I wanted to rebuild, get our numbers up, but all I've really been doing is letting the world pass us by. Well, that's got to change. And the change starts with you. You are going to find out where this threat is coming from. Where can we resupply, sir? You'll want to talk to our quartermaster, Sergeant Melson, about that. He'll provide you with all the weapons, armor, and gear you need to carry out your duties in the wastelands. You may also want to talk to Ethel Murcaptain or TNT-10 if you need something special. Who is Ethel Murcaptain, sir? One of the brightest minds in the Citadel. She's really helped us get our weapons and armor up to scratch, and she's always coming up with new and better stuff. Worth a visit just to see what she's got cooking. TNT Tancer? Our munitions expert. Crazy bastard is going to blow us all up one day. Does good work, though. In the field, his ordinance is highly reliable. It's just his workshop that scares the bejesus out of me. Anything else you can tell me about Ace, sir? Ace and I went way back. Back to the prison days. We fought Finster and the base Cochise robot army together. We rebuilt the Citadel from scratch. That... That I sent him on the mission which got him killed hangs heavy on my heart. And Angie's never gonna forgive me. You know Angie well, sir? Well enough not to talk behind her back when she's standing right in front of me. Hey Angie, how you holding up? Better now, General. I'm only crying eight hours out of every day now, instead of sixteen. Ain't no shame in grieving, Angie. No shame at all. What happened with the base coaches? Place was nearly the death of us. Hell, it was nearly the death of the whole human race. Damned malevolent mainframe churning out an endless army of robots. If we hadn't stopped it, well, I hate to think. What's the deal with with Ir with Irwin John Finster? Craziest jackalope we ever faced. 
might have been human once, might have been sane too. But when we met him, he was a crazy android bent on wiping out the human race and replacing us all with mutants. Got his head in our museum if you want to take a look. Anything to say about the prison? Our old stomping grounds, since right after the apocalypse. We moved out of there about 15 years ago when we took over this place. It wasn't a bad place, but the Citadel is more defensible. The Red Scorpions have moved into the prison since then. Nasty bunch from all accounts. What do you think of the Red Scorpions, sir? They call themselves the Red Scorpion Militia now, and lately they've been filling the airwaves with a lot of trash about how they're the real law and order around here. Just another raider gang, if you ask me. I don't give them the time of day. A place to learn, sir? We have a library here, where we compile maps and information about the region to help us with our work. If you want to know about any old tech or ancient knowledge, go talk to old Flintlock there. If you've got map questions, see Gilbert. He's our cartographer. Gilbert, sir. Gilbert was another one of my squad. We called him Thrasher back in the day. A good man to have in a tight spot. Past his fighting days now, though. Took a wound during the Battle of Base Cochise and never fully recovered. Now, he's our cartographer, and damn good at it. You'll find him in the museum with Flintlock. Who's Flintlock? (laughs) Flintlock was old when I was your age. Now he's ancient. Knows more about the history of the Desert Rangers than any man alive. And he'll tell you so himself. Can you tell us about Sergeant Melson, sir? Melson's alright. A bit young, a bit rowdy, a bit gung-ho. But the Rangers need that now. We need new blood, like yourselves. And Wade Woodston? Woodson's that man right over there. My radio wingman. The man who keeps me on the air. If you want to know more about the repeater units, or how to use your radio, see him. Any advice for us, sir, now that we're officially Rangers? You are our next generation recruits, and I want you to make us proud. Remember that every action you take reflects directly upon the Desert Rangers as a whole. We've worked hard to gain the trust of the people of Arizona, and to have them accept our authority. Keep that in mind every time you draw your weapon or make a promise. The lives of other Rangers and the rule of law depend on your wisdom, honor, and forbearance. That thing that killed Ace... You think that it was more than just a robot, sir? I don't know. Ace fought plenty of robots in his time, and they never gave him any trouble. So I'm wondering if this was something new, something worse. And if it is, we better find out. Listen, if you brought that thing back with you, or even just a part of it, show it to Mer Captain over in the armory, like I said. She might be able to ID it. And here, take this with you when you bring something to Mer Captain. It's a requisition form for some of Mer Captain's top shelf gear. For finding Ace's killer, you deserve it. Make us proud, recruits. Yeah, General, how's the way? Angie, hope you're feeling better. It comes and goes, Snake, you know. Yeah, I do. It's kind of nice that they, they have dialogue for those characters to go back and forth. Alright, so, I think next episode we're going to have to go find that armory so we, and Merc Captain so we can get that our reward for this whole Ace situation. Then I think I'm going to set out to do probably a side quest next. The first thing I'm thinking is probably to deal with the, uh, the Wreckers before they go after Hypool again. Thanks for watching guys, like always, and I'll see you next time.